Okay, Michelle, could you tell us a bit about yourself? I suffer with severe anxiety and also psychotic depression. I developed OCD. Uh, could you say when you first started painting? But at school, I was... I actually was, my picture was put up on the wall to say how not to draw, all the mistakes I'd made and everything. So I didn't draw for quite a while. And then I become very unwell, ended up in hospital and I went to an art therapy and I discovered I could actually copy people like Vincent van Gogh and Monet and I could copy them to a T. Could you describe your first artwork? I start off with the panther. When I'm unwell, I picture myself coming out of it and that actually relates to my illness. I actually come out of the darkness. Could you say something about what the art does for you in your life? It helps me a great deal. Um, first of all, it helps me relax. Also, when I come to the group on Thursdays at my friend's house, we all do art and we sit around talking and it, we give each other support and enjoy each other's art. Also when I'm at home and there's not much to do, I can lose myself in my art and I feel fulfilled and I feel that I've done something that I really enjoy. And could you just tell us a bit about yourself? I care for my son who's schizophrenic. I find it very, very difficult to come to terms with. You've always got in the back of your mind is this person that you're caring for all right. Could you describe your first artwork? Um, most of my artwork, because I'm no artist, I don't know what I'm doing. I doodle and it turns into something. But the first one, I've got no idea what it is really. It could be a sheath of corn, I couldn't say it was a trunk of a tree, but it's charcoal which I like because I can play around with it as, I, as I'm doing it. Could you describe what the art gives you? It does, it does relax and makes me stop thinking about things that the problems of life it it makes me you know I do forget about it and I think also um, the fact that you're with other people you know that okay now could you describe yourself I used to work I had a breakdown could you describe your first picture the first picture we're looking at is called polar bear when I I became ill, I also became unable to pay my rent at my independent living. I eventually ended up in a halfway house and it was there that I took up painting as a hobby on a more interesting level. And this was one of the first paintings that I did there. And it's special to me because it described a lot of my feelings at the time, like this feeling of being constantly cold even when everything else was happy and warm around me sort of thing. Are the pictures you've shown us are very much about feelings on there and are actually about quite difficult feelings. Yeah. Is it important, do you think, to be able to find a way of expressing those difficult feelings? Yeah, it is. It's a chance to speak without using words. And does that help? Yes, it, it helps you make sense of what's around. Uh, it's like bouncing a ball off a wall. You can catch the idea back. It's a useful tool in um, describing pain. What I found for me was when I was in pain, I couldn't describe to other people what I was feeling or what I was thinking. What would you say to people who would say, well, this is all quite depressing? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, having depression it's finding your way out of the darkness. It doesn't matter who you are. I mean, what happened to me can happen to anyone, really. What you're looking for, really, is a way of finding a way out of that dark space. You've got to use every tool and any tool you can to make yourself um, better. It's all about self-maintenance. How's your life now? A lot better. Things have eased up.